Well, hello there, Mike from The Cool Factor here. Uh, let's take a look at the Summer 2021 brick heads for Harry Potter. And there are just like two sets, but very cute. Coming from the brickfan.com, we have the 40495 Harry, Hermione, Ron and Hagrid. And also second set of Voldemort, Nagini and Bellatrix Lestrange with a set number of 40496. The larger one with four, mini four brick heads is $25 and the smaller one with three is $20. Let's take a look maybe at this one first, <laughs> just like Minions and Gru, <laughs> because we just got the Minions set with uh, Minions included, so that's kind of uh, whatever. You know, I was trying to make a joke here, but hey, we got very cute Harry with oversized glasses and there is the print for the uh, for that uh, little, of course, scar. Ron is like, ah, Vingardium Leviosa, whatever, and Hermione. Also, I like the uh, added um, details for the hair mold. So cute little uh, three guys from I think their first year at Hogwarts because they're so tiny. And Hagrid, uh, I think he should be a bit of a taller brickhead in my opinion, maybe like a stud or two, maybe like a brick or two taller than a usual brickhead just for the sake of the size of his body. But still nevertheless, I think that's the Hagrid when, with the, uh, by the way, also the pink umbrella. When I think he first meets the, the kids when they uh, arrive at Hogwarts, I'm not really sh remember, I'm a bit rusty on Harry Potter, but I think that's one of the first appearances of Hagrid that we see in the entire franchise. Nevertheless, I think it's gonna be a hotcakes seller, of course, because of Harry being so cute, and I think it's uh, one of the most popular characters and themes overall in LEGO right now, so I can see the resurrection of Brickhands coming strong in this, and it's gonna be pretty solid to look at. Definitely. Um, let's see up the other one. By the way, they are available June 1st, uh, as most of the stuff that was unveiled over the last night and, and day. Uh, stuff just keeps dropping. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is uh, I think, my one of my favorite packs of Brickheads, uh, like, ever. Uh, Voldy, Voldemort, is not that much of a, you know, crazy build. Uh, his weird-looking head, of course, is, is all white, so th that's probably the simplest you can get when it comes to building a Brickhead's head. Uh, I like the little print for his uh, almost non-existent nose, and he has a, a white wand on there and still rub, so kind of a boring brick head. But uh, he doesn't even have legs, as you have, may have noticed, so that's kind of interesting because of the robe, but I think Nadini is stealing the show here. I mean, is she supposed to be a scary serpent serving the Slytherin? I'm not sure. In this case, that's just a cute little snake, almost like a baby snake to my... Uh, understanding, but uh, nevertheless, I think it's gonna be a fan favorite just because how cute she looks like. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be like a venomous, crazy, uh, very dangerous and very intimidating snake. It's not the case in, in this case. Uh, I, <laughs> I think fans will just appreciate how cartoonized this is and it's it's okay. It's something different for sure from that uh, scary look of Voldy on the name we shall not speak of. And Bellatrix, in this case, also provides a ton of, uh, like, com compared, the, the contrast here is striking because she has uh, a storm of hair going on. It's like, uh, I like that brick hat for Bell Bottom from the Minions. I think the, the hair build was pretty interesting for this one, but Bellatrix really takes the cake with extra layers because her hair was so wavy and so even the minifigure mold for the hair of that minifigure is really, really uh, one of the most, like, uh, you know, sought after ones in the Harry Potter lineup because of how cool of a mold this is. And I think they captured that kind of vibe of her hair setup, hairstyle very well in the brick head. There's going to be extra added layers on top of that head to get that, which compared to Voldemort, the bald guy, it's kind of weird looking in one set, but it, there's gonna be something for everyone. So animal build, simple Voldemort and much more advanced Bellatrix uh, Brickhead in a cheaper actual set than the Hagrid and the, the kids. Uh, so I think this might be actually the fan favorite in this case. Whereas this one will be just like for the sake of, of the popularity of these names, also a part of people's collection. Wow, so good to break heads to, to show and definitely something I'm excited for. As always, comment sections open below. Let me know what you think. Uh, all the other Harry Potter sets are also coming. We did talk about them on the live stream in the past. There, you can pre-order them right now in the LEGO, Lego shop. There's, a gonna be, there's gonna be a very strong wave of Harry Potter coming in. We have a bunch of sets that are on my to-get list, of course, but the Brickheads, I think, as, as they making a comeback of sorts, especially with the very good Minions Brickheads lately, uh, this is another great iteration of the people called a dying theme of sorts, but I think with that example, we're not, we're not going to see Brickheads going away anytime soon. And uh, I hope for that because they always are cute little buys and a lot of them are very good quality anyway. All right, let me know what you think, guys. Hit the like, subscribe, all, the, all these things, and I'll see you in the next video. Mike from The Cool Factor, out.